maintenance never stops. It always, it's like you, you can't just stop, otherwise you'll end up with uh, overgrown space and what have you. And I really hope that it can be incorporated into the longer term vision of service and education for, for the technical center here. Businessjournaldaily.com, three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal farmers. We're doing a cleanup and beautification around Chuffin uh, campus and on the hillside adjacent to the YMCA parking lot and Walnut Street uh, to connect downtown to the campus up here. We had a conversation just as sort of general cleanup. I had identified it as an opportunity for a spring um, area to address. Uh, because I really wanted to get more uh, cleanup projects underway in the downtown area. Part of it was is that we were looking for other opportunities for planting day potentially of, of projects to address in June. Um, and then he said to me, hey, you know, I've got these students. We want to do more service learning projects. Let's do something earlier. Uh, and with the goal of maybe um, creating this into sort of outdoor education space and being utilized in the long run. So it's sort of the first phase of that. You know, our goal today is just to engage the students to, uh, to clean up a little bit, um, beautify, and uh, just get ready for the summer too. And, uh, and, and you know, just try to clean up um, our, our little part of Youngstown for, for today. So that's a small goal, but I think in the future, this is gonna lead to some, uh, some potential grand development here on site that we have, uh, you know, a lot of hope in. Uh, providing some service to the community with this project and um, you know we have this is just one initial step forward with it. We are going to uh, go after the uh, the Career Tech Ed expansion grant and that is looking at our renovation of our horticulture building which has uh, kind of been in decline for the past few years and we're looking to renovate this uh, to be kind of a community impact. We want to grow food here, we want to create food here with our culinary program. And we also want to integrate entrepreneurship into that, our business programs to have a bigger impact on the community. We want to bring some um, logistics and supply chain in here to uh, satisfy a lot of our local companies and uh, start that in the core here in Youngstown with service projects to emphasize those skills and help the community at the same time. It has a, a 3,000 square foot greenhouse, 9,000 square foot usable space in the basement and up here. Um, and this is going to be rehabbed. Uh, one way or another, we'll chip away at it if we don't get the grant, but because um, we, we see it as an incredibly valuable piece that we just haven't utilized yet. And um, we see a lot of potential with this. We have a proposal written up already, um, but we never had you know, the backing with it. We never really approached the backing. We just got the proposal written, so it's really new. But then when we saw that grant come up through the state, this is something that is uh, possibly going to give us a nice boost and make this project a reality. Maintenance never stops. It always, it's like you, you can't just stop, otherwise you'll end up with uh, overgrown space and what have you. And I really hope that it can be incorporated into the longer term vision of service and education for, for the technical center here. Once they start the action of cleaning up, I think they see the improvement and then the value of the community. All that comes together in this project and I think there's some real benefit to have some pride with the school but also the community too. They see the city of Youngstown right down the hill and I think they see those connections and you know they're cleaning up Youngstown not just um, Chauvin. Businessjournaldaily.com three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal farmers.